What's up, y'all? We are back with the fifth journal entry. This past week, I just feel like I've been getting this work done, man. I feel like I am being more consistent. I just hope it stays this way. Cause I know I'd be starting a lot of shit and I don't really be finishing like that. Or I'm just not as consistent. But this is something that I'm very passionate about. I'm not passionate about vlogging. I'm not passionate about anything that deals with cameras or videos or shit like that. But I know I need to do it because it all points to the music. It all points towards the music, which is something that I'm more passionate about than anything. I heard once that a billionaire that makes money selling concrete isn't passionate about concrete. He's passionate about money. So he's gonna talk about concrete all motherfucking day if it points towards his goal, making money. So I don't really give a shit about vlogging too much, but I know it could help somebody, you know, me journal entries, you know what I mean? I, it's not like I don't enjoy it. But music, music, music. Other than that, I haven't really been performing as much because I've been focusing on these videos and getting content out and whatnot. And I've had like to run back and forth to places and shit. But we finally got the teeth and we're gonna get them put in Monday, so we lit. Forgot to mention that I'm also doing this in the crib because I ain't gonna lie, it's break outside. So, niggas feeling real cozy, you know what I mean? You need to feel real cozy, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 let me put the. Uh, yeah, yeah. As far as my relationship with God goes, I feel like I'm in a little bit of a better place. The more energy that I put into the work, I get that energy back. It's like a muscle. You know, you want to lift more weights or lift heavier weights and more volume so that your muscle can grow. And I feel like that's exactly what's happening. The more energy that I put in is the more energy I get back so that I can continue to do the volume of work that I've been doing at the pace that I'm doing it. How that ties into my relationship with God, I feel like in this season, God is speaking to me through action. So I've just been action, 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 action. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's just a season for action, you know, it's a season for action, obviously. I'm in the crib with it, but, but man, we still take action, man. We still take the journal entry, man. I ain't saying, man, it's cold, man, and I usually do it outside, so I'm not going to do the journal. Nah, man. We got to get it done, boy. We got to get it. Where's my other one? I probably... Uh, shit. Man, hard to... I actually got this from um, the Korean uh, pop-up shops on Broadway. Y'all should go check them out because they got some cool stuff like this. You know what I mean? Hello. Teddy Bear Sensei Jutsu, you know what I mean? Ha, ha, ha. Things that I'm actively improving on, patience, definitely. I've been getting a lot of tests, a lot of patience. Consistency, man. I've been working on my consistency, man, my discipline. Really, really trying to stay focused on getting these abs in, man. Getting these abs, <laughs> you know, going to the gym, you know, working out, you know what I mean? Pushing out the content, man. Getting more content out, actually getting up, doing it, mixing it, doing everything myself. I'm trying to improve my stress management. Trying to stay at peace in the middle of chaos because everything goes wrong when you have a plan. Whenever you're actively working and you're doing things, like I just noticed like more shit tends to go wrong. Always expect things to go wrong so that you can know how to come up with a solution instantly. You know? Always learn how to how to immediately respond and not react to situations. So I think that's what I've been getting better at as well. Stress management and just being able to handle things that come my way because something is always going wrong i shit you not like i remember i, I tried to make my first uh one of my first like uh povs i set up my tripod that i just bought fresh never used it and the, one of the parts ain't working like the shit did like what the fuck one of the parts to the tripod i just bought wasn't is not working anymore like it was working when i first set it up as soon as i got it second time i, I tried to like set it up and actually use it did not work so I always expect something to go wrong right always have a solution so i just had to come up with a solution the plan still got carried out not in the way that i expected it to but the plan will always be carried out so i've been getting better at that too like continuing to carry out the plan even when things go wrong because you always still have the opportunity to finish stress management discipline my peace in the middle of chaos yeah i gotta get better at uh, controlling my spending because I'm never gonna be rich, I'm never gonna be wealthy, I'm not gonna have anything if I don't control my money, so I gotta get better at that. Yeah. Budgeting, budgeting will probably help with that, so that's the solution. I got good news though. Good news is that I did get another opportunity. It's investment banking, and I don't really know too much about it, but they're gonna teach me how to read balance sheets, profit and loss, and shit like that. Seems kind of boring, I'm not gonna lie, but it might it might pay more than anything I've ever done. We'll see. I might be really good at it. Once I started working at Prodigy and I did all these things like selling phones, going door to door, business business with Energy, Esco, MCA loans, and shit like that, like it really opened a lot of doors. So 
And granted, I don't got a degree, guys. I don't have a degree. I don't have a high school diploma. But guess what? I'm breaking into jobs that you need a fucking de degree for. So, all praise to the most high, man. It's all about your actions and what you choose to do with your with your life, you know, early on. Because the choices you make early on will affect the rest of your life. I'm excited. I just ordered a bunch of Fabletic clothes <laughs> to go to the gym in, you know, because I want to look, I want, I want to look sexy. You know what I mean? When I look in the mirror, you know me. I want to go, mm, yeah, that's you. Mm, yeah, that's on me. Mm. You know what I mean? I want to look sexy in the mirror. You know what I mean? Get my teeth put in, obviously, but that's all happening like Monday, like one day. So other than that, I gotta make more content. Probably gonna start this job soon too. And um, yeah, just hustle, grind. You know what I mean? I got songs to last me the rest of my life so <laughs> i had got unlimited pobs to make i'm gonna continue to make more songs obviously and i gotta perform more often too so uh yeah other than that i mean yeah it's been that's been everything to be honest that's the recap of how my week past week has been how i feel right now i feel like i'm in motion and i gotta stay in motion as far as like depression and sadness or happiness it's like i i, I be feeling joy but i don't like i be feeling both like sadness and joy but it's like i don't really give myself too much time to feel either because i'm either at the gym working on something or i'm just i'm constantly doing something i'm never just like stagnant so you know that's actually how you escape depression that's how you beat it thank god god too you gotta pray your way out of that shit yeah man um never stop praying though. never stop praying that's one thing like I said earlier in my videos, like I never stop praying. I never stop talking to God. I just don't talk as much with the Lord, but, you know, I still do. I guess all this concludes my fifth journal entry. Um, If I have anything new, obviously, it's going to be in the vlog on my next journal entry. Hopefully, niggas get famous, man. Hopefully, niggas get rich off the music shit, man. All praise to the most high. Yeah, you know that's my only so tired. I need 400K. That's four wives. You know what I mean? Word. Oh yeah, some famous people have been looking at my shit. Like NBA Young Boys brother has been looking at my posts. That's pretty cool. Some fucking famous people are always like randomly looking at my shit, but they never wanna help out. Never wanna help a nigga out. Never wanna give a nigga a shout out, man. You know what I mean? I would appreciate a shout out at least, but it is what it is. But this will conclude the fifth journal entry of the week, man. So I'll catch y'all on the vlog or the next video or my Instagram. Peace, y'all.